Hey everyone, just sort of pop on and do this short video. A lot of people ask me, leave me comments, when I talk about a certain person. And that certain person is Chris Proudfoot and Katie Proudfoot. Or should, I should say person, not person, but person. And the one question a lot of people keep asking me is, why does Chris not let Katie talk? Right, well, that's because it's a control freak. If he doesn't like something because it's not going his way, he has a little tantrum. Now, I've just been watching the, the march in London for uniting... Like it's about it's it's about the English being English and taking back their voices, right? And it suddenly clicked to me. Someone said, "No, maybe a small word, it's two two letters, N O." But it's a powerful word. So if someone tries to be a bully to intimidate you. Use that word, no. In my case, I use it, F U. Right? But anyway, this is Chris. He's, he's a narcissist. He's a control freak. If it doesn't go his way, he's not going to be happy. Well, I've got a video here which I'm going to show you. And in it are some little clips that I just want to share with you to show what sort of guy he's like. So, so I'm going to play it, these little clips, and this is for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about. This is the stepfather to Sebastian Rogers, who went missing on the 26th of February, 2024. He walked out of his house between 12 and 6 a.m. I was never seen again, has never been seen again. There is no scent of him. There's no trace of him. There's nothing. Nothing. I, this is why I would never have him on my, on a live. Even if I had the biggest channel going out there, I would never, ever have him on my channel. Right? Because I don't like what he stands for. He's a narcissist. He's a controlling narcissist. And is. Very angry all the time, I find. Now, this is the the father, the stepfather, who Sebastian had to live with. Now, you imagine a 15-year-old autistic lad. You cannot be controlling with an autistic lad. You have to look at it from their, from their view, right? So... Let's just listen to one little clip, first of all. Oh, she is? Okay. Oh, hi, Heather. I didn't see you there. Hi. Okay. There was a um, lot of talk. I, I didn't really have a chance to say hello. I, and this, Heather is the other private investigator. Yeah, I know who Heather is. Okay. Right. Did you hear that? She's introducing Heather. On her channel. She's introducing them. Now, there might be people in her audience, in her chat, that do not know who Heather is. Right? He comes in, yeah, I know who Heather is. Who was talking to you, Chris? She was talking to her chat. She was introducing Heather to her chat. But, oh, no. You're the one, aren't you? You're the main man here. Right? Next one. That with me before, but once he calms down, um, I, I think we'll, maybe we can get get somewhere. Maybe we can get somewhere. Yep. Okay, so let's address something real quick with your okay. views. You say I'm drunk and belligerent. No, I'm just a pissed off dad. So let's get that real clear. 
Hey, everybody, if any, okay, uh, mods. So if you want to keep your comments and, you, and that's how your audience wants to play this game, no, no, no. then okay. no, I'm not going to clear up anything or turn the chat off. If you want to clear this up, let's get it right. And let's okay. take all the stupid people out of this. So he's literally saying, you want me to answer these questions and turn your chat off. You want me to clear all this up, turn your chat off. So all these, take all these stupid people out of the, this equation. Now, I'm sorry, but if someone come on my channel and said that, who wasn't firstly invited, it was an interview between Chloe, the investigator. That was what it was all about, Chloe. It wasn't about Chris, it wasn't with Heather or anyone else. It was about Chloe. But because Chris was watching this, and he didn't like what he was hearing. He goes, I want up. Let me get up there. Sort of thing. And he comes in like a bull in a china shop. And then people are going, he must be drunk. He's drunk, you know what I mean? And I didn't think that when I heard it. I thought, he's an asshole. I didn't think he was drunk. I just thought he was an asshole. Equation. And answer the deals. Okay, Chris, I, hang on. Mods, if anybody says anything rude about any of our guests, I want you to ban them. Kick them out. Okay? It's like this. If you ain't got nothing factual about me to say, keep your mouth shut. Well, okay, but Chris, they don't know if it's factual. Exactly. Okay. So that's, that's the best recommendation I can give them. Well, but they want to ask questions, and let me tell you why. Questions are one thing, not a statement where I'm belligerent and I'm drunk. Because guess what, folks? I can read the comments that you post. I know. Oh, did you hear that? He can read. Never, Chris. Right? I think he's arrogant. He's controlling. He's trying to control the narrative of this live. Right? So by saying, look, people are in your, I can read your comments. I can see what people are saying. He's trying to get the host which she has done now, to say, well, if anyone, mods, if anyone says anything rude, out of order, whatever, bang them. Kick them out. So he's winging there. He's winging. He's getting his own way. Right? And then... Oh, hold on. And I'm telling everybody, if anybody says anything rude, they're booted from chat. Mods, if you could boot them. Uh, Stacy, could you get Ping over here to help us? Anybody and, and the other part of this is if it's nothing, it. if it's nothing in regards to Sebastian, I really don't give a shit, people. No, and I so why is he so up up in the air with it? If he doesn't give a shit, why is he so bothered? by what people are saying, right? So this is just, I just thought I'd throw this in today because I get that question asked a lot. Why does Chris not let Katie talk? And that's because he likes the control. He likes to control what's being said, how it's being said, to whom it's being said. Right, now there's only one guy I know he talks to on YouTube, and that's Gray, Gray Hughes. He actually comes up on panel here, but not for long. Because people in the chat are saying, why is he there? Why is he going up there? He's got no need to be up there. But he didn't. He went up there because he's seen Chris up there, and he's seen three other women, well, four other women by then. And he thought Chris was going to be bullied. Well, I tell you now, if that had been my channel, I'd say, you know what, Chris, I'm not being, I'm not being nasty here, right? But if you want to talk about Sebastian, then I'd advise you to calm down. Stop having a go in chat. Stop having a go at everyone on the panel. This was not your live. This was a live for Chloe. Yes, we've invited, we've let you come up but we didn't expect you to come up and have a go at everyone. 
and demand this and demand that. And if he doesn't, didn't like it, if he left the panel, I'll go, fine, I don't care. He's left the panel, fine. He's not going to come up on my panel and talk like that. Simple. Anyway, I don't know what you all think, but I just thought I'd throw that out today. Let me know in the comments. And please don't ask me, why does he not ask Katie, let Katie talk? Right? This is why he doesn't let Katie talk, because he's a control freak. Right? So thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you all soon.